Uh, my name is Mike Fultonevich, and today I'm going to show you uh, basically step by step on my windups and mechanically wise. The first off, when I when I get up to the mound, a lot of guys they they start with their their feet towards towards the mound, and I don't usually do that. The way I go is I have my feet set up kind of at an angle, almost down a third base line. So when I start my windup, it's just a nice simple step. A lot of guys they they have their feet set up towards uh, the mound and when they start they st have a big big step and then your t your eyes are the target to the mound and and uh, when you start when you go like that your eyes are just going all over the place so when I start off my my feet like I said are a little kind of angled towards the pitching uh, towards the third base line and when I start I just take a nice easy step just like that and that's my first step really and then next from there as I take a nice step I want to make sure my uh, my foot that late that when I push off is even is even right here with the with the rubber. A lot of guys they tend when they start they kind of go out like that and that tends them to just throw their body off that leads them off the third base line and that's not that's not where you want to be. So when I st I start I take my step again and I make sure my foot is just right aligned with the rubber. Next after that is the, is the leg process, lifting the leg. So when I start again, and I lift my leg just like this, I kind of kind of like a little, little angle towards my, my right shoulder, just so I have balance over the, over the mound. A lot of guys, they tend, when they come up, they kind of just kind of rush it. And this, this helps me to stay balanced and stay over the mound. And after that, when I bring my leg up, when I feel my leg to come down, I want my hands to break along with them, just like, just like, just like this. When you feel your leg come down, just break, break your hands with it and start going towards the mound. After that, it all, it's all with your arm right now. It's your arm angle and uh, where you want your arm to be when your left foot hits the ground. So when my left leg comes down, I want to make sure my arm is at the top of my motion right here. It shouldn't be dragging behind right here or anything. It should be right at the top of uh, your motion right here. So you don't want to cause any arm problems. So however you, however your wind up is, make sure when your leg comes down and this foot hits, your arm is at the top, top of the motion right there. And another thing is when I'm, when I'm coming, my legs up like this, I want to make sure to just bring it straight down, just like this. Because a lot of guys, when they come up, they tend to go out and around like that. And sometimes, when you come out like that, you're right here, and you have to start throwing across your body, and that just that puts a lot of wear on your shoulder. That's that's not really good for good for your shoulder at all. So when your leg comes up, hands break along with it, foot foot straight down after it comes up. Arm arms at the top of your motion, just like that. Just like that. Now after that, it's just basically you're finishing. So after you put all this together, you want to come up, break your hands, top of the motion. And when you throw, you want to finish your motion all the way down. Pretend like there's like a $20 bill at the, at the end of the ground there you want to pick up just so you, so you get that feeling that you want to, want to finish your motion, just like that.